Hello and welcome to stage three of the Formula E New York e Pre 2020. In this particular race, you have to stay in fifth place. You can't go back into sixth place and you also can't take fourth place. And since it's basically three full laps, it is a longer race. Now, yesterday, you might recall me saying that I was having trouble with that first corner and there was a few things that were feeling funny to me. Well, what I didn't know was that my steering sensitivity was at zero. Oh, what's that guy doing? He wrecked all by himself. I don't know how, but my steering sensitivity was at zero. Now, when I'm racing the McLaren MP4X, I do run sensitivity zero, but I hadn't run that car for a few days. And so earlier today, I was practicing in this car, doing a whole bunch of uh, time trials at Berlin for the current competition. And I put myself into sensitivity two, and boy, it took me a good 20, 30 minutes to get the feel back for the car because I was oversteering since I was used to sensitivity zero. Then I went to start this event and I was at sensitivity zero again. So I'm curious if any of you guys are having this happen. It seems to be resetting my sensitivity on me. So just uh, if things are feeling funny for you, check your sensitivity. Maybe it got switched around on you. I don't know what's going on, but oh well. So I'm going to be pushing this guy. It's kind of interesting because that guy in sixth place he keeps gaining on me, and if I push this fourth place guy too far, he's going to get super loose and waste a bunch of time. So you don't want that. See, there you go. I just got hit by the sixth place guy. Come on, guys. So now you could do a bit of blocking, meaning that you could be braking a little bit and making that sixth place guy really slow down. Uh, I don't have the braking points dialed in for this track yet, so I'm kind of blowing it here and there. In this race, battery charge is absolutely a non-issue. Like, um, that's enough battery charge to do over 20 laps here. So you really, you have absolutely nothing to worry about yet. It's still just about having the idea of a battery charge getting into your head. So I'm going to shove Evans. Thankfully, Evans isn't braking at this slight turn here, but he's slow. Again, I am heavily, I'm overtuned. Um, the PR requirement for this race was 56, and I'm at 63.2. Now, to get into the last race of this event, or the last stage, you're going to need 62.8. Uh, the reason why I'm this way, you could go to stage one to see all of that, but basically, I wanted to maximize my principal, so I bought the cheapest M dollar tunings I could to do that. And I'm going to rough this guy up at the line. I don't know if it said anything about no damage. I don't think it did, because I certainly bashed myself a little bit there. A lot of these races are actually saying no damage and no off-track. Now, no off-track is not very hard at all, because not a lot of this track is off-track. But no damage, well, that could get you in trouble. Now, this one says a 60-second lap. That should be no trouble at all, even if you're really, really low on tuning with a bare minimum. Honestly, none of this should be very difficult, because... This is a, a type of an event with mandatory PR, and so usually those are easier. So I'm going in here kind of heavy, and uh, whoop, still not so great at that corner. Again, because I was used to sensitivity zero in this car, I'm oversteering a little bit, so I'm just going to have to get used to that. I'm going to get a little bit rough here with Evans. Whoa! Now, if you put pressure on the bots, watch this. He'll eat the wall and just fall back. It's kind of funny. If you just kind of squeeze him a little bit. And I'm still working on my braking points. Mine could be different than yours because I have maximum brakes. I bought all brake tunings, um, almost all top speed tunings, and then a couple of others. They were just the cheapest. You see, for principal XP, you get the same amount regardless of the tuning. So I just had to buy a certain amount of tunings and I could have enough to maximize my principal, which I did. That's the end of that race. You know, easy, I'm almost eight seconds faster than I needed to be. So that means that with substantially less PR, you'd be able to do that. Now, things are getting a little bit more interesting. Temperature warnings. Okay, I'm gonna have some fun with this one. So, it's only your last lap here that matters. You could substantially slow down and really let your engine temperature get low so that you could plow through the last lap. I'm going to do something different. I'm going to 
full reverse now, bounce off the wall, and watch what happens here. I'm gonna switch views. As you drive backwards, your engine temperature goes down. That's hilarious, because I am full power in reverse. Oops, I nicked my volume button there. Hopefully that didn't change things. I'll edit it if it did there. Uh, I'm not used to holding my phone this way. Now I'm gonna turn around to do the, the full lap and look how low my engine temperature is. I have nothing to worry about. Let's see if I can do this corner a bit better. A uh, little bit better, that wasn't bad. And then second distance marker is my braking point, a little bit before it. Power through shortly after the shaded section. Power through that. And on the left-hand side, there's going to be more distance markers. And let's see here. So not this one. Between this one and the next one is when I start braking. Shadow on the left. You want to be steering right about as you're passing that. On the right, there's going to be distance markers. And I believe I'm braking between the second and the third. Yes, that's what I'm doing. And then you can power out of this nicely. I didn't do it quite as good as I should have. Notice how engine temperature is not an issue. So you don't have to drive backwards like I did. You could just slow down a lot. And there you go. Just how to set the fastest lap and then it gives you the first place finish. So if you don't want to do crazy stuff like I did, if you hit that wall too hard, you will fail. I did that. So don't do that. You could just go really, really slow, get your engine temperature low and then blast that lap. And here we go. Now it's uh, getting more restrictions. Now I actually am at the break even point for damage. If you saw that everything was at zero, it's showing me as damaged, but I'm not really damaged. Now the timer's not gonna start yet. So for this first lap, you could take it easy or you could push it to try to get some of your braking points more dialed in. Uh, again, the, the battery charge here, absolutely a non-issue. Like you really only need maybe like 6%, 7% a lap. So 86% or whatever we started with, my goodness, that's more than enough. So again, um, not much to worry about in this stage, but I'm gonna keep pushing it. I wanna keep learning the track. Um, the funny thing about the car right now is that with my driver level seven, my maximized principal XP and with my tuning, this car is operating differently here than it is when I'm not in this event. And that kind of drives me crazy because it's slower when I'm not in this event. Thankfully, this time trial tournament is currently at Berlin, not at New York, because that would be messing with me. I'd have to use different points. Ah, I kind of blew it there. And did not optimize that first corner. Uh, I'm not very worried about this. The rest of this track I'm fairly good at. I mean, I'm, I'm okay. I'm not necessarily amazing, but you know, that's pretty good. And then you can hug the left wall here with the tuning I have, no trouble. And let's see how well I handle this. Uh, I think I was braking a bit late. Yes, I was braking late. Definitely lost time there. And then coming into this section here. Yep, there's definitely three distance markers there. I'm definitely braking about between the second and the third. It's about halfway between them. And then here, there are some distance markers. Uh, I'm definitely braking before that first one. And there you go. Power through that, and I think that's under 50 seconds. Yep. So, nothing to worry about. You know, breezy day at the uh, at the tuning or at the PR that I've got. Just kind of breeze through things. And again, I'm going to be adding up all of my earnings. I'm going to show you all of this at the end of stage five. So, I'm going to be totaling up everything so we can see the exact cost. There we go. That's the end of stage three. If you like what you're seeing, I'd invite you to subscribe and then you can get these videos as soon as I'm putting them out. And here's a couple of links. Here's the playlist if you haven't seen the other two stages and something else for entertainment. Thank you for joining me.